So, Aquaman 2 has been an all-out disaster from the beginning, for obvious reasons regarding Amber Heard either being in it or not being in it, which caused a lot of controversy around this film from the get-go, because many fans didn't want to go out and watch Aquaman 2 if Amber Heard was going to be in the film. Get him to not call me a liar, because everything that I had said to date and everything I've said to date now is the truth. It's quite possibly the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. And then we got the trailer where it seemed like Amber Heard wasn't in the movie except for one split millisecond where we see her behind some sort of a window. People were still not convinced that she wasn't actually in this film as people thought this was just marketing and damage control for the movie and many expected that once they sat down and watched the film in the cinemas, Amber Heard would be riddled throughout the entire film. But then we ended up hearing from Amber Heard herself who made claims that her role was cut down drastically in this film and then you had the director respond to those claims saying that she never had a big role to begin with and that he wanted this film to be centered around other characters and not so much involve the romance between Jason Momoa and Amber Heard. But then when you actually sit down and watch this film it's excruciatingly obvious that her role was cut down drastically making all the comments from the director and the studio obviously damage control. <laughs> You didn't see that coming? And they were only saying that because they knew no one would want to watch this movie if Amber Heard was in it, and you can clearly tell that they were pressed for time and rushed a redraft of this film and clearly shot a bunch of scenes to remove Amber Heard from the movie, which sadly makes Amber Heard correct, but it also doesn't save this film because it was so rushed, so convoluted, and so all over the place and didn't feel like a final product, and that really hurts this movie. And that's where we get to the real issue with Aquaman 2 and why I would call this film the worst movie ever made as that's not entirely down to the script and the film itself although clearly being terrible but more so because of the pathetic lies, the pathetic damage control and strategies used by DC and Warner Brothers to try and get audiences in the cinema to watch this horrible film that they knew damn well themselves was not ready to be released and honestly should never have seen the last of day. How dare you! And obviously we covered the lies around Amber Heard's role, but we also get the pathetic strategy where DC and Warner Brothers basically spent no money on the marketing of this movie, meaning that they knew this film was trash from the get-go, meaning that they knew there was no point in wasting any money trying to market this film or putting any money into the film on top of the budget because they knew it wouldn't break even, they knew the film was terrible, yet they still thought it was okay to release it to cinemas and have audiences spend their own money to watch this movie, which is just downright robbery. Not to mention blatantly disrespectful, as this movie is the definition of a phoned-in project. Because the performances, including Amber Heard's herself, are absolutely atrocious, and that's not really their fault, as the script was also just terrible and felt like a rushed first draft, and then we get to the direction, which there really wasn't any. And don't get me started on the CGI, which we all know has been a massive problem for DC for a while. But it looks like an S. Yes, it's meant to. It's, it's meant to wind. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see with basically all of their projects as of late, they just look terrible, they look like they're 10 years old, and clearly they need to do some restructuring around their CGI department because it feels like with every release of a DC movie, there's always one meme of bad CGI that escapes from the film. <laughs> And that just needs to stop if DC ever want to be taken seriously again. So all in all, the fact that DC chose to release this movie and not give it the Batgirl treatment shows the little respect that they have for the audience, and I really think this will cost them a lot moving forward. Because we know that they weren't putting much stock in Aquaman 2, as they're more focused on the universe they're building in the future, helmed by James Gunn. However, the problem is that when they release a project like this, which 
which is so underdone, so undercooked, and just utterly pathetic, it really damages the relationship that they have with their fan base, if they have any at all anymore, and that's going to hurt their movies in the future, because regardless if those movies are good, audiences aren't going to go to the cinema to watch it, because of the 10 years of trash that DC has been putting out, with a massive exclamation mark, which is Aquaman 2. And so honestly, I would have thought the smartest decision would be not to release Aquaman, because at least that way their latest release would have been Blue Beetle, which wasn't entirely terrible, it wasn't great by any standards, but it didn't hurt their audience base, it didn't damage that relationship between studio and fan, which Aquaman 2 has clearly done, meaning that any movie in the future, even if it is good, is set to lose money because fans just won't support it. And to make matters worse, Aquaman 2 is possibly set to bomb worse than the Marvels. Um, <laughs> you know, what? Is that actually, that actually happened? I th of course it happened. I think I think this is a reflection of how, like, just oh my God. dark we've become. Oh. Oh my a, lot of, a lot of weird. And seeing as this is a sequel to a movie that made a billion dollars just a few years ago, just goes to show how far DC Studios have fallen and how far Warner Brothers have fallen. And really, it seems like they have a mission to just lose money with every single project at this point because all of the problems that they're faced with with many of their recent movies, including Aquaman 2, are problems that the fans have voiced for a long time to DC are problems that the fans have been asking them to correct, and so they should know damn well themselves what they need to fix, what they need to change moving forward, because the audience base has literally spelt it out for both Warner Brothers and DC, yet they continue to make the same exact mistakes, and Aquaman 2 is no different. It's so dumb. Oh, it's so dumb, it's brilliant. No! It's just dumb! And there really is zero excuses with this one, as it's all their own doing and they need to seriously reassess where their ethics lie as a company, because releasing a movie this rushed and terrible is honestly disgraceful, and it's really left a sour taste in my mouth for DC, and even for James Gunn, as he should have really spoken up and said, you know what, if we want my universe to work in the future, if we really want to change this company around, why not start now, why not set the precedent with our Aquaman 2 and just cancel this entire movie because even after test screenings they knew the film was terrible they knew that this was far from being anywhere near a success so why didn't they just cut their losses and move on and try to come out with a good project following up from Blue Beetle rather than putting out a movie that they knew was doomed from the start but what are your thoughts on this film what are your thoughts on this entire situation let me know down below in the comments if you like the video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button button and I'll see you all on my next video.